How's it going, Christian Post? Um, I am so happy to be joined by the viral sensation, singing contractors in the house. <laughs> yeah, we're Guys, here. tell us, um, introduce yourselves first, and um, I, I hope that you guys don't mind singing something a little later. But um, introduce yourselves and then kind of just tell us a little bit about your background. All right. Well, I'm Josh Arnett, and uh, I'm the one with the little shorter beard, <laughs> and uh, and I I sing the lead part most of the time, so that may kind of identify it. But we both switch parts and everything. But um, so anyway, that's me. And and my name's Aaron, and I have the manly beard. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> but uh, I sometimes try to sing the uh, high part, and we just. Uh, do what we can to, to sing a song and make it successful, hopefully. <laughs> so how did this whole thing start? I mean, I gotta I saw you guys before this interview, before they even pitched um, for us to do an interview with you. I had I caught a peep of one of your uh, viral videos. I think it was during Christmas and it could have been married. Did you know? I can't recall correctly. But um, I was just like, whoa, I mean, these two manly men doing their construction and you guys are just breaking out with these angelic voices. Tell us, how does that even come about? Or are, Were you guys friends for years? Have you done this for years? Or did you just, you're hammering away or something and you start humming and you realize you could sing? I could sing. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we, uh, we actually have been uh, friends for years. Um, and but we haven't worked together for years that long. We uh, probably six years. We're subcontractors, yeah. and uh, we subcontract off the same guy. So every once in a while, our, we'll cross paths on a job. But uh, um, we first kind of passed each other when we were thirteen years old, probably. Our mm -hmm. families um, are were evangelists when we were growing up, and uh, they drag us all over the country singing to camp meetings and revivals and stuff. But that's oh. kind of when I saw him um, and he saw me, but we really weren't friends then, but it wasn't till we got married um, to our wives. Um, they were, my, they were friends. And so we started hanging out after we got married, but it wasn't till six years ago that uh, me and him just started singing on the job one day. And it was just for fun and nothing until Aaron came and he said, hey, he said, why don't we record it on our cell phones and put on Facebook? And I was like, no way. There's just no way because people are going to criticize us and ridicule <laughs> us. And, and you can finish the rest of it, buddy. Well, when when and, was that? How many years ago? Did, did you guys literally just start recording last year or like recording yourselves? Or how long have you been recording yourselves? Well, I didn't get Facebook until 2009. And so once I did, I think it was like a, a either a few months or a year later, probably 2010 is when we kind of started Wow! And uh, because we seen other people put videos on there and stuff. And we was like, Hey, why not do it? Of you know, course. and we did it and we would get a couple hundred views here and there, you know, and then it kind of kept growing a little bit. And then people started requesting songs and uh, they actually, the people named us the singing contractors. I we love didn't that. Name them. And so we uh, we started getting requests just by our personal pages, and they would say, "Hey, sing this, sing that," you know. And one day, um, I got a request from a guy that said, "Hey, please sing How Great Thou Art." And uh, so we was on a full, uh, full, completely remodeled, you know, this entire house, and we was down in the basement working that day. And uh, so I told Josh, I said, we got to sing that. And and we did it and pulled a buddy in and, and sang that song. And that's what started it for us as far as the viral, first mm -hmm. viral video for us. And, yeah. and how many views does that have now? It's like crazy uh, amount, right? 16. The, the uh, How Great Thou Art is almost 16 million. <laughs> and then the Mary Did You Know is over 50 million. Yeah, that's the one that I saw. And yeah, I got to say, I think what's so unique about it, we don't expect to see, you know, men that are working in construction, like just break out and song. I'm a singer. I know the acoustics sometimes are amazing in those nice yeah. hollow places. Right. So it's yeah. perfect. It's like the perfect.
perfect environment. And just, I think what people are gravitating towards is how unique it is, you know, on top of your gift, but you guys are gifted in other ways too, which is adding to this whole phenomenon. So you yeah. recently signed that this is amazing. Like, amazing amazing you recently signed with gaither music group and we all know bill gaither legend yeah how did that come about what were you thinking i want to know everything what were you thinking how did it happen and everything <laughs> well i want to answer that but i want to say something before uh, back on the job okay you know oh. we never really think people say well they're just a couple guys that uh they really they just get on the job and pretend and they sing and that, that's not the case um, we literally work and if we're not on the same job, we'll meet at a house after work, drop our tools and sing a song. It really is. We really are singing contractors and that's <laughs> yeah. what we do by the day. And we, we stop in the middle of the day or at the end of the day, whatever it is. So just wanted to clear that up mm. and, uh, it all started that way for us and that's exactly the way it is and our resume is the calluses on our hands oh yeah and the splits and the cracks yeah. and the <laughs> splinters yeah so you guys should play guitar then because your hands are perfect for it <laughs> <laughs> we wish we could play guitar yeah. all right but so it, tell us about yeah signing how did that even happen well it's, act, it's, it's kind of it's kind of crazy because we, uh, a guy had, uh, we had produced our first two albums. Uh, he had uh, knew this guy, uh, Bill Sizelove, that is the Paul, the, that is uh, the president of Gaither Music. And um, he had, Paul Sizelove had contacted us like way over a year ago. And we kept kind of putting it off because we was involved in some other stuff, shooting a pilot um, for a TV show That's and cool. we didn't, we didn't know how the contracts would work and all that. We just didn't want to mess anything up. Yeah. So we kind of kept putting him off, just put it off. <laughs> and finally one day we was like, dude, we got to just uh, us meet up and talk with him. You know See what it's about, you yeah. know, because he had emailed us again and he said, well, when do you want to meet? And we was like, well, we can't, we can't take off work to meet, so we're going to have to meet on the weekend. <laughs> and so we met at Cracker Barrel, you know, <laughs> and and we ate a meal, and, and he put the deal on the table, and, and we took it. Yeah. Wow. That's so amazing. So tell, so tell me now, what are, where are you in the process? I know you have a record that you're yes. – I don't know if you worked on it yet. Well, yeah, it's actually – it should be out by the time this is in full-fledged running on our website. <laughs> so it's just around the corner, working on a building. Now, obviously, I like to play on words, um, but I don't think you're singing about construction work <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the physical kind of stuff. So tell us, what is it about? Well, uh, what we're about is, is we sing about God. And we sing uh, about God because he's, he's changed our lives. Mm -hmm. And we want to encourage people. And uh, there's there's a lot of things that people go through, dark times in their lives. And we want to sing stuff that, that lifts people up. So is and, the album a compilation of stuff that you've already sung, like on your viral videos? Or is there original content? What can we expect? Yeah, yeah there is. Uh, there's some old-fashioned songs. There's an Elvis song on there. Um, I Come to the Garden Alone. We sing that. Um, there's an, some acapella on there that we sing God bless, uh, America. And, wow. um, also there's some songs that are our own personal testimonies that wow. we sang. And, and so there's a, just in our opinion, there's a little bit of mix of everything that people would like, but it really just, it, it shows personally from us of what we want to do, what God's done for us and what he can do for you. And I just feel like it's a very emotional not just CD, but even the video. It's it's emotional. It's funny. It's uh, it shows what we're about, and um, we really hope people um, get a hold of that because we feel like we have something to to tell them. So, working on a building, what does it mean? Then, if you put it in those in that way. Well, um, working on a building is uh, we're, we're basically uh, it talks about. Uh, going up to heaven and getting my reward. Well, we're working on the building, the kingdom, you mm, know, nice. and, uh, 
one one person at a time, if you if if you please. And uh, this it's a simple song, but we love singing. It's catchy, and it just it's really cool because it it just it's what we do, right? And so you have to work at it. It's not something that it's just happens like that and you you have to work and build the kingdom to get there and mm. you know so well, uh, another song that we got to sing we got to sing with bill gaither he joined us on a song Amazing. which which is really cool and it's why me lord mm. um and what have i ever done to deserve you know man and we that's how we feel yeah. what have we ever done to deserve the privilege that we have um we get to do this. This is not something we chose or or wanted to even do. That's right. God has allowed us to do this, and man, what a what a privilege it is to be able to share a message of hope. Amazing. So let me ask you this: This album comes out. It does wonderful. You hit the road. Do you guys hang up the tool belt? <laughs> I. Honestly, don't ever think we'll hang up the tool belts. Mm. Um, we may hang them up doing them every day, but mm. we would like to be able to choose to pull them out and work when we want. And mm. because we enjoy taking something that's nothing and making something and looking back at it and say, that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and we're both married. And when you're married, yeah. you're never going to hang up the tool belts because the wife <laughs> always has something to do. <laughs> This is true, hundred percent. Because you don't want them hanging pictures. There's so. a list a mile long. <laughs> oh well, guys, it's really been awesome chatting with you. I would love to hear something from you guys, our audience, to, to be blessed with what you guys are doing. Um, and I know they're gonna go. Be, they're gonna go searching to see those videos of you guys in these homes with these hollow walls, singing your hearts out. So if you can, do you have something? Why don't you do working on the building? Well, I'm working on a yes, building. I'm working on a building. It's true foundation. Yes, it's true foundation. I'm holding up the blood stain of Adam for my Lord. Well, I never get tired, tired, tired working on a building. Yes, I'm working on a building. I'm going up to heaven. I'm going up to heaven to get my reward. My reward. I'm going up to heaven. I'm going up to heaven. Getting my reward. Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. Well, it's, thank you so much, Sharon and Josh. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, I was just going to say we we're it's it's hard to sing in the vehicle. We feel like we have to hold back <laughs> because we're blast your ears out, and it's two degrees. <laughs> oh yes, you're but, uh, you guys are cold up there. And we just hope that uh, anything that we say or do that encourages somebody to make their day a little better, mm -hmm. and and that's what we want to always strive to do is make sure that we honor God in in our own lives, not in just our own lives, but what we sing and what we say. And uh, we just feel like that's what we're here to do. And we we want to connect with the everyday worker because we're just average guys. We're nothing. And we're no better than anybody else. We're just, it's just God has chosen a path for us. And we, man, we're wanting to use it for him. So I really think that's what will make you identify with everybody you come in contact with. Lastly, where can, where can people find you if they want to, Search you. What's your website? What are, what's where's the best way to reach you? You can find us on our website, thesingingcontractors.com. Okay. You'll you'll see all kinds of information there. Our Facebook is the singing contractors. You can see about everything you want on there too. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to check out our YouTube as well and subscribe yep. to YouTube because yep. a lot of times we'll have some things on there that we don't have on other stuff. Yep. So. And yeah. check out our Instagram. We're on there as, to, on there as well. So, um, All right, guys. Well, like I, share it with everybody. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to spread the word about your record. And thank you so much for chatting with the Christian Post. These are thank the single you. contractors. You. Make sure you out there look them up, subscribe, and get behind them. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.